so greetings uh, welcome to uh, a video log it's a while since I've done a video log and um, I thought I'd talk about a few things that have caught my eye in the news just in general just a couple of minutes the first thing is the Royal Bank of Scotland bonuses in particular for the Chief Executive Stephen Hester and now naturally there's been a lot of controversy about it now my view it seems to go against what everyone else says is that he should have the bonus I mean the way I see it is like I mean like people always say I mean he's like he's a top banker I mean that is of course he should get one million pounds I mean people say oh that's 23 times what the average person gets the check out or what has to and stuff like that yeah but it's a lot better than being a top as check out Asda, isn't it? I mean, this is like, he's the chief executive of a massive bank. So I think he should get the money, and I think all the people who say he shouldn't, they're just like utter hypocrites, like like Ed Miliband, with like, like butter wouldn't melt in his mouth, sort of saying, oh, we need to consider. I mean, it was the Labour Party, they were the ones who brought in all this. I mean, they brought him into the contract, and he was under contract, and they and he agreed that they agreed that he was going to be treated like a member of the private banking community, not as a public civil servant, which is the only way they could agree. I mean, the other option is, I mean, basically there are very few people who are experienced enough to run a major bank, so if they don't want him to do it then they could save money and get someone for about £50,000 to run the bank. Uh, for example, they could get uh, Aaron, who's videoing this now, who's my worker, for £50,000. He'd be headhunted away from my employment, where he's paid, well, below the minimum wage. And then we would see the bank massively fail. Now what, so, you know, what is it, it's all just, the point is it's just envy, it's like, oh, everyone gets on their big high horse about it, it says, oh, a million pounds, that's an absolute disgrace. Oh. But the fact of the matter is, we all know if we were in that situation, running the bank and then we were being offered one million pounds, we would take it. People always say things like, oh, you know, oh, yes, uh, People need to lead by example and not take it. Like, like when people talk about the um, uh, the MPs and their expenses. Oh, it's a disgrace. Uh. But we all know if we were MPs and then there was like expenses thing and you could get money back if you just bought a cupboard, we would get the money back for the cupboard. Of course we would. Everyone would. You know, it's just hypocrisy. Um, it's just like um, well. Uh, what was going to, I've forgotten what I was going to say now. Anyway, um, it was about the people and money and things. Oh, like for example, here's another example. Mark, I'm not sure how to say his name, Serotqua, something like this. Um, I've got to be very careful what I say here for legal reasons, in case I get it slightly wrong. But basically, he's the... Um, leader of the PCS union, which is the main union that represents the, um, the civil servants, and they all went on strike recently, as we know. Anyway, the average wage for a civil servant apparently is 23,000 or something like 29,000, something like that. But when he took the post, uh, he was offered 86,000 pounds, but he said he, want, he didn't want to. Uh, and in fact, I, you know, in order to get elected, he kind of said, well, he didn't want to take £86,000, he wanted to take something that, you know, was much closer to the average worker, the average civil servant within his union. You know, I mean, you've got to remember that socialism. Socialism is about, you know, the working man and everyone's in it together and the solidarity. But, you know, anyway, the point is, as soon as he, uh, having said all that, uh, was voted in, uh, he then sort of then decided actually when he was offered £86,000 like £86,000 like on the table waiting to be taken 
that he would actually take it. I mean, apparently he does give quite a few thousands of his uh, salary every year to the union, which is more than some other union leaders do. Um, but I'm not criticising him. I'm just criticising the whole hypocrisy about the idea of everyone saying... Uh, I mean, the, the fact that he was even in a position where he had to like make out that he was going to give away most of his salary. Why should he? I mean, so he's the leader of the whole union. Of course you should get more than just some average civil servant going around some pathetic pen-pushing job for 23,000. Total failure. Of course you should get more.